New evidence has cast doubt on the conviction of a man who investigators have said was a radical and violent environmentalist. And late today, that man was released. KCRA 3's David Beenick was there when Eric McDavid went free for the first time in nine years. David. Kelly, that's right. Eric McDavid served nine years of what was originally supposed to be a 20 year federal prison sentence. But today, here at the courthouse, a judge called into question the way prosecutors handled his case and set McDavid free. <laughs> After nearly nine years behind bars, Eric McDavid walked out of Sacramento's federal courthouse this afternoon. <laughs> yeah! And into the arms of friends, family members, and attorneys who never stopped fighting for his release. You saw how it felt. It was wonderful. Do you feel he's been vindicated? I don't want to talk about that. I just know that he's home. Arrested in 2006, McDavid was eventually convicted by a federal jury of being part of an echo terrorism plot. Prosecutors said he wanted to blow up Nimbus Dam on the American River and the U.S. Forest Service's genetics lab in Placerville. It came out in the last couple of months uh, that they didn't give us some very important documents for discovery for evidence during the trial phase. Those documents back up the defense's original argument that McDavid had been entrapped by an FBI informant with whom he fell in love. Yes, he was entrapped by love, and he was entrapped by the persistent and unrelenting efforts of the FBI. McDavid's trial attorney said he had asked for those documents and was told they didn't exist. They only surfaced after McDavid's family members got their hands on his FBI case file. He went to federal prison for nine years, and somebody in the federal law enforcement system knew that he was innocent, but didn't care. The judge did not completely exonerate McDavid, but rather allowed him to plead guilty to a lesser charge and sentence him to time served. As part of the plea deal, McDavid agreed not to sue the federal government. Can you say if you feel vindicated? Not yet. I'll put out a statement soon. Thank you. Now, the U.S. Attorney's Office also declined to comment on camera today. In a statement, federal prosecutors said that the evidence supporting McDavid's case was not turned over sooner because of, quote, an inadvertent non disclosure. Live in Sacramento, David Bean, KCRA 3 News.